Hello my little butterflies and this video is to talk about my Ravenclaw Reads jar. Okay, before I get into whatever, you know, book I'm going to pick out of the jar and I almost forgot I wanted to do this, I want to tell you guys everything that, my results from everything I did on Powder More, which I did this a few months ago. And I want to tell you guys my results for, you know, all the quizzes, you know, to give you on Powder More and you figure this stuff out. Okay, so obviously I figured out I'm in House Ravenclaw, which I kind of knew that all along. I always kind of figured that. That's what I'm talking That's kind of what made me wear the the blue and the gold today because I knew I wanted to do this video and if y'all see any uh, patches on my shirt don't worry that was Claire she likes to mark me up and that's kind of what just happened but um I figured out my Patronus is a kingfisher when it's some kind of bird um I kind of went to research it and see what the hell it does <laughs> like what is this animal like what's so special about it but it's just it's a kingfisher I guess I don't know my wand, which I think is pretty fucking cool, is I have aspen wood with a phoenix feather core and it's 12 and 3 quarters and it's responsibly supple and flexible. I was so happy I got something with a phoenix, um, I was so happy I got something with a phoenix feather core because you know those are extremely rare. I was like fucking right, I got a fire ass wand, that's what I'm talking about. So. My wand in the Harry Potter world would be fine as shit. That's what I'm talking about. And I also did a test for, I don't know how I even said this, the Avla, Avla Morney house. I don't know. I'm probably, I don't know I'm saying it. Had to be saying it completely wrong, but I got Horned Serpent, the Horned Serpent house. I don't know. I just took the test because it was there. But guys, I had fun doing the, test, doing the quizzes on Potter, but I ain't gonna lie. I haven't been on it since I did the quizzes to figure out. All so you guys this video that I'm doing today is to talk about this little jar right here right here okay that y'all might notice and that y'all may remember used to be my TBR jar for last year that didn't work out so good okay I would always pull and I would never actually read I did like one challenge from the TBR and that was to like reread whatever number book was on the shelf and I named I landed on Naomi Leon by Pam Minos Ryan and I reread that book because I love that book but that was the only time I did out all that year okay so what made me think about doing it and I don't think I've seen nobody do anything like this before I think I watched a video of somebody she was she's in house Gryffindor okay and she recommended like five books that are good for you know people in house Gryffindor so I figured why wouldn't I not, you know, put together a jar of books that are supposedly, you know, recommended to people from House Ravenclaw? I was like, that would be a good ass idea because then it's a bunch of different kind of books from different genres and, you know, maybe some of the books I wouldn't necessarily pick up on myself. And I went on a couple of different websites that are recommending books for, you know, people of House Ravenclaw. And I think this is either 38 or, no, I mean... I think this is the 28 or 32 books in this jar. Oh Jesus, they just got so bright in here. Sorry about that guys. But some of them from genres that I don't usually read from. Um, some of them are books that I wouldn't have necessarily picked up on my own. So I figured I can do this jar and I can pull from, you know, once um, every month. And that'll be my Ravenclaw recommendation read for the month. Because the TBR jar thing didn't work out for me at all. At least this is, I could say it's just one book, you know, that I can recommend to myself because I am getting into Harry Potter. I am a late bloomer. Don't try to, you know, stone me for it, whatever. But um, as y'all know, I just started reading Harry Potter last year. Don't jump on me for that. Um, I did watch the first two movies, but I never read the books. So I'm starting to read the books. And I only have one book right now. I need to get the other books, but it's just. Harry Potter books are expensive and I don't plan on ever buying a box set because I don't want to spend fifty two dollars on books. And that's the paperback box set, that's fifty two dollars. I already started with the hardcovers. I want the hardcovers. So I already got no single. But that's what's in this jar and I figured that would be a great idea because at first my jar has been empty like just about the whole year. So I figured I might as well do something with it and that's what I decided to do. So I'm going to pick from this jar and whatever book I pick out of here is going to be my April Ravenclaw read. Kirsten White. 
these are just going to show you there are so many different kind of books that was on these lists that I can kind of see why. And I think this is a fairly new, new book. I've been hearing people talk about it on booktube. I think it is. I want to say it's a fairly new book. At least it's a fairly newly talked about book if it's not, you know, new. And I want to see if my library has it. And if I don't, I guess I will buy it depending on how much it is. Or I might just get the Kindle because usually the Kindle is way cheaper if the Kindle is available. But I might just check it out from the library if my library has it. But I'm kind of excited to read this because it was on my, like, to buy, to be read list. <laughs> I have a lot of books on my Amazon goddamn wishes. And I think this is one of the books that was on it. So I am excited to read it. And I probably wouldn't have read it if I wouldn't have. I probably wanted to know how soon if I wouldn't have picked it out the jar. So this is definitely a book that is going to be on my TBR for April because it is my Ravenclaw recommended read. And I want to keep up with this too, so I hope I do. I want you guys to encourage me to keep up with it because I don't want it to slip. Because I I want to do this because it seems like it's fun and I would like I think it would be fun for everybody to do stuff like this, especially people that's really into Harry Potter. This would be fun to do with your house, you know. I'm just saying. But... Anyway, you guys, that's all I have for this video. That's really all I had to say in this video. I didn't really have anything else special to do. I just wanted to explain my jar. And that would be all. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.